Special guest in the house today. You guys know he's a friend of the show. Our guy, Ryan Leaf, has been sitting with us all morning. Ryan, you're here to break down another quarterback. Who do you have for us today? You know, when, when each week comes, we watch all the games, and then Adam and I talk about which quarterback we want to break down, you know? And sometimes, last week, we, it worked out perfectly. Trevor Lawrence heading into that Jets mm -hmm. game Thursday night. He plays a terrific game. He kind of becomes the guy in that big moment. Sam Darnold. Been hurt the entire year. They bring in Baker Mayfield. They use Walker, everything. He finally gets healthy, and they say, we're going to go with him the rest of the year, and they ship off Baker Mayfield. And what he's done is simply put together one of the best Decembers in all of football and has his team primed and ready for a playoff run with the matchup against the Bucks this weekend. Here's a few plays from last week's game and a win over the Lions that no one really saw coming. What has really impressed me about Sam Darnold and a lot of the quarterbacks these days is the ball handling. How quickly they play fake, how quickly the ball gets out. Great play call here. They run a, a, essentially a pick, and the defensive players from Detroit just run into each other. The play fake holds the defender there. He gets it out immediately to his wide receiver. They run into each other. They run right into each yeah. other. And he gets the ball perfectly in place to step forward and get a big first down. Situational football in the NFL is huge, right? Third down, red zone, blitz protection. And they did a tremendous job. I had a great game plan against a defense that's played pretty well. Aiden Hutchinson coming here. He reads him on the, the run option. Perfect job of reading it and holding the ball. He was tricky athletic at USC. Did a lot of things with his feet. Asked to do it in this game. Sure enough, he picks up a huge first down, gets him inside the red zone and sets up for a big opportunity. Watch this. I, I think we, we're showcased here and highlight him, how he makes the move to get Ooh. by and almost gets into the end zone. Offensive linemen love that stuff, ready to pick up, clean off the pile. Incredible job by him early on in this football game when they needed scores and needed to keep the momentum going because Detroit can always bounce back and make points. Here's another example here. He reads off the end. Once again, easy read, dives down, and it's a walk-in touchdown. Not only is he using his arms, he's using his legs. Both guys up here doing a tremendous job of getting the blocks. And I want to say we're showcasing this because of Sam Darnold, but the entire offense, from the offensive line to the wide receivers to everybody, has played incredibly well in this game. And we saw that when Dan Campbell came and, and talked to head coach Steve Wilkes, like, hey, you just kicked our butt. And that was an amazing yeah. game plan. Great job here of, uh, of, of finding uh, the open receiver when you got straight man coverage. Just letting it go back on your own goal line. You got a four man rush and this takes a lot, right? You just you have to trust in your receiver and putting it up to the only place where he can catch it. Watch where he puts the ball yep. to his almost outside shoulder. This is great defense by Jacobs. Watch the one handed grab here. And when you got your players making plays for you, you have confidence as a quarterback. You're going to keep putting it up and giving them an opportunity. This is a third down play and he comes across all the way across the field. Watch him step up. He's going to have a guy in his face and watch as he steps up to throw this ball. Boom. Hutchinson's right in his face, but he's still very accurate. The guy he's throwing to is right here, okay? Look where his eyes are. He's got to get that ball out early and into a space where a guy can catch the ball and run with it for big yardage. That's exactly what he does. He continues to improve every single width. Fourth best passer rating in the month of December since he's been back playing. This is a, this is a big one timeout remaining. This pass may be one of his best of the game, all right? Watch how quickly the ball comes out of his hand and where he puts it, right? He puts it in the only place the guy can catch it, of course, right in front of him. He sets up a field goal right before half, again, to put them up 24 to seven going into half. A huge point there to take them into the half and keep the momentum going. This team just kept after it. I love this one, third and 13, you're not expecting it. You almost go zero coverage. All everybody's off thinking they're gonna go to what? Probably about the th first down marker, right, Jay? Instead, he steps up knowing he's got full protection, right? He's got three guys covering, he's fully protected, and he lets go to the one guy that he can take on a, on a big move. And this takes a lot of faith from a quarterback, right? You know that you're gonna have everybody coming. You know you're blocked up, right? You know you have the, the guys to block it. He waits, allows for it to happen. He had faith in his offensive line and his running backs to pick it up. Here's another one, another bubble pass. This is getting Next the ball play. out of his head as quickly as he can. Not a great throw, okay? This isn't a great throw, but it's best you get the ball out of your hand as fast as you can so he can have the ball and have an opportunity to do this. Score. And that's score the touchdown. The slower the ball comes out, the less time he has to react and move. All right, here's the one to, to essentially finish the game. And this, this showcases the physicality of this football team. Again, quickly out of his hand, running with two blockers down the field. Oh, yeah. And he goes and starts making everybody oh, miss Visca. 
Yeah. Not only did LaVisca Chanel out of, uh, out of Colorado, covered him in college, big physical wide receiver, started his career in Jacksonville, traded to Carolina, has been an impact player. He gets everybody. Right? This was what he did differently. He's almost like a, a running back. Mm -hmm. was, this a, was this a candidate for Angry Runs? Oh, yes, it was. Yeah. It was a candidate. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Great job. And this one solidified the game. Sam Darnold, the Carolina Panthers, once again, in the biggest moment for them in the season, right? They laid an egg against the, the Steelers a week ago where they could have solidified more. And then they bring in the Lions, who had just come off a big win and are now trying to get into the playoffs themselves, were 6-1, and one, mm -hmm. and embarrass them. Yeah. Embarrass them. Dan Campbell walks over, shakes Steve Wilkes' hand, says, man, that was a beatdown. Here's your highest passer rating in the month of December. How about that? Look at these names. Brock Purdy, yeah. right? You wouldn't believe it to be true, but it is oh. in San Francisco. Jared Goff, who's played incredibly well, was in this game. Patrick Mahomes right there at the top. Kirk Cousins, of course, who's in the playoffs, and Sam Darnold with the Carolina it's awesome. Panthers. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, as I look at that, the most impressive play to me was the blitz zero that the Lions came with, where everybody's standing at the line. Because Darnold, less max protection, but you know the defense is going to send one more that you can block in those opportunities. He hangs in there. The worst thing as a DB is when you're waiting for that blitz to hit home, it never gets there. You're on the island. He steps up, makes that throw. Big play by him. It, it is. To have the confidence to know that you have it either picked up or if you're that you were hot off of gets messed up in the wash. Yeah. You have an extra split second to let uh -huh. it go. Yep. And he did. He waited that split second and let it fly. Had confidence that that uh, Moore was going to beat no uh, Jeff it. Akuda, and that's yeah. exactly what happened. He's improved each and every week. And if I'm Buccaneers fans out there, I'm worried that a very physical football team that plays great defense sure. to the Carolina Panthers Confident. has a quarterback that may not make the big mistake in this game and cost them the yeah. NFC South. Listen, that was a tough breakdown to do because it was you were having a hard enough time setting up the play before Darnold was throwing the ball. All I saw every time was quick, quick, quick. They can't hurt you if they can't get it. It's you. so impressive to see what these quarterbacks do. In, in, my, in my day, it was, you know, seven-step drop, yep. read out the coverage, and then you'd really have one option to throw to. And so that's why the completion percentage was much yeah. different. And now the ball is thrown within two yards of the line of scrimmage, whether that's plus or negative, uh -huh. and these quarterbacks do a great job of ball handling, moving their hands, using the linebackers, making the pull in the safeties, and then getting the ball out quick. And a lot of stuff right at the line of scrimmage, allowing wide receivers to do some work down the field. And that's what mm -hmm. Carolina does, and Sam did a great job of executing the offense. Ryan, Jets fans are watching this, they want to throw up. What happened? What changed? He didn't have it, and then all of a sudden now he's winning three out of four. He looks good. Yeah, he looks good. It, this, this happens a lot. Look at Geno Smith in Seattle, right? I mean, I, I, I hate saying this because I don't think systemic problems are really, really the issue. There's a systemic problem in New York for okay. the organization, right? It, and it's, it's been happening for over a decade where you get a new coach every three years and a new quarterback. It just is. And no matter what you do or who you add to the, the equation, there's always a problem. So what's the common variable in all of this? It's the New York Jets, mm -hmm. right? It just, it just is. So there has to be a, a conscious look in the mirror on how you go about your identity. I think Robert Sala is the answer. I really do. But once again, they missed on the quarterback, mm -hmm. and it looks like they're going to be moving on and trying to have to find another one as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Ryan, well done. It's good to look at that stuff, especially as it pertains to the NFC South and the importance over the next couple of weeks. Ryan Leaf, very good.